What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, Quebec games from tabletop to video games and today we are doing another Digimon first place meta deck and it's none other than War Greymon. Now I don't think we actually ever done War Greymon here on the channel so I'm super excited and I'm glad to see that it's still raining tournaments. It's actually a good matchup against Shopmon so especially with Shopmon being like almost to zero at this point and it's just consistently winning tournaments this is definitely a good deck uh depends on the specific builds but usually war greymons definitely have a very good matchup since they're able to actually pop some tamers so very interesting to see how this person's build was able to win first place now before we begin friendly reminder as always do like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and i do really appreciate it so starting with one core mon from bt5 so this is when attacking once per turn if this is digimon in contain greymon omnimon trigger one draw nice and then he plays for Koromon from BT9, which is your turn while this Digimon has Agumon or Greymon in its name, it gets 1000 DP. Alright, then he has four Agumon uh, promo, which is your turn. If this Digimon contains Greymon, this Digimon gets 2000 DP. So it definitely could stack the Greymons pretty high. So that is always good. And then there's also four Agumons from BT5, which is the one with the on-play effect of reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon with Greymon in its name and one Digimon with Amimon and the rest are placed at the bottom of your deck. Then we have two Agumons from BT8. On play, reveal the top four cards of your deck. Add one Digimon with Greymon in its name and one Digimon with Dragon Kin in its type among them. And then the rest are placed underneath at the bottom of the deck. And then we have four Agumon X antibodies. So Digivolution 0. So pretty much could Digivolve over any color of the Agumons. On play, when Digivolving, reveal three cards from the top of your deck. Add one X antibody and one card with Greymon or Omnimon in its name among them to the hand. Place the remaining at the bottom of the deck. Now, surprisingly, he's not playing the black uh, X antibody one, but it's okay. It's not really too necessary. So he's playing two Greymons of BT5. Actually, let me double check. No, four. My apologies. So he's playing four BT5 Greymons. When Digivolving, if this Digimon has Agumon in its Digivolution, gain one memory. So it's only going to cost one, which is quite pleasant. It has the Inherent. While this Digimon has Greymon or Omnimon, it gains 2000 DP. So yeah, the number just keep on going up for DPs. He's playing two of the Black Greymon from BT8. Okay, so opponent's turn. While you have a Red Digimon in play, this Digimon gains Blocker. Very nice. Okay, now there's two Greymon X Antibody from BT9, so Digivolve for zero over Greymon, so pretty free. All turns, if an effect would delete this Digimon with Greymon or Omnimon in its name, or return it to the owner's hand or deck, you may prevent it by uh, leaving by discarding two cards with the same level in this Digivolution. So, yeah, you can send either two level threes, two level fours, or even two level fives if you have a Mega. Okay, then he has one Delta Mon. Very interesting. So your turn when this Digimon would Digivolve into a Digimon with a composite in its trait. This might be something else or another uh, name, but okay. Um, or multiple colors. So you have the two choice. So if it has multiple colors or the trait, reduce the memory cost of that Digivolution by two. All right, that's good. So if you Digivolve it for any of your level fives that has two colors so the metal green mons then you can decrease it by two and then the inherent is when attacking for each of this digimon's color delete one of your opponent's digimon with a dp of 3000 or less quite good so one of that all right one greymon x x antibody from bt11 so digivolve for zero your turn when this digimon would digivolve into a card with greymon in its name reduce the digivolution cost by one for each color of that card all right, so you could reduce it by two. Pretty close to Delta Mon. Uh, kind of curious why he doesn't just uh, play with the Delta Mon unless if he wants the additional inherent ability over here. Then I guess so, but... Okay. All turns when this Digimon has Greymon or Omnimon in its name and an effect that would delete it or return to the hand, you may return one X antibody in this Digimon Digivolution card to the bottom of the owner's deck to prevent that leaving. Quite good. 
Okay, so four metal gray mons from BT8, okay? So since the other ones are reducing the digivolution cost, so this might majority of the time only cost two, which is quite good. Okay, when digivolving trigger, digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon, and if no digivolution, blah, 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 then delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. So quite good. Definitely could get rid of some nuisance cards. All right, your turn. While this Digimon has Dragon Kin or Machine type, this Digimon can also attack your opponent's unsuspended Digimon. This is very threatening. And this is the card that could definitely be D Reaper all the time. Attack into Mother. Okay, so four of Metal Greymon. Then three. Oh, that's interesting. So three Metal Greymon X Antibody from BT11. Okay, so Digivolve 1 from Metal Greymon, not bad. Okay, when Digivolving until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent's effects can't reduce this Digimon's DP and it can de Digivolve. Nice. Then, if this Digimon has Metal Greymon or X Antibody in its Digivolution, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6000 DP. Pretty free. Okay, opponent's turn, once per turn, when a Digimon becomes unsuspended, if this Digimon's name contains Greymon or Omnimon, trust the top card of your opponent's security stack. Wow, that is good. Extremely good. Okay, so three of that. So in total, he's only playing seven level fives. So that's very interesting. Okay, then we have two Black War Greymon from BT8. Okay, so when Digivolving, if there is a red card in this Digimon Digivolution card, you may choose your opponent's Digimon. If there is a black card in this Digimon Digivolution card, you may choose your opponent's Tamers. Delete any number of chosen cards whose total play cost is adds up to six or less. Now this definitely gets rid of like Sh Shotmon and kind of kills it, but this is why they're starting to stack. Like a good Shotmon player is starting to for all the Digimon underneath the level four Tamers. So they're not able to like pop two and even majority of where is it like the Mega Drummons that actually deletes a play cost of three or less. It's kind of protect them. So if you're playing Shotmon and you're against this deck, you want to start stacking underneath your uh, play cost four Tamers. So they won't have such a huge selective option. And especially if you have four of them, then you could divide it. So if they do do Black War Greymon, at least you just you lose one of them and not all of them. All turns, once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon are deleted, you can unsuspend this Digimon. Very nice. All right, next we have also two Gaiomon. So Digivolve 2 from Black War Greymon. Pretty cool. This card's and uh, Digimon is also treated as having Greymon in its name. Now, if you notice that says card slash Digimon, some of you might be thinking like, wait, aren't they the same? Well, actually, no. So when it says just Digimon, when it says name or color that this Digimon, that means it's only considering it when it's on the board, okay? When it says card, that means everywhere in trash deck hand security doesn't matter card means from everywhere digimon just means on the board okay so if you have something that searches a graymon so because it has card in its name you could actually add this but if it only said digimon that you wouldn't be able to add it all right so security attack plus one and reboot quite good so especially if you're able to give him blocker when digivolving if this digimon has a black digivolution card one of your opponent's digimon d digivolves one if this digimon has a red digivolution card blitz so it's very easy to actually give it both to digivolve and also the blitz so it could definitely do a fatal final attack especially if you're able to trust cards from your opponent's security and also really like spam your gray mons this is actually amazing all right, next we have two black gray black war Greymon X empty body. So Digivolve two from Black War Greymon. Kind of high, I'm going to admit, but it's definitely a really good card. So reboot opponent's turn. Once per turn, when your opponent's Digimon with the highest DP attacks, you may switch the target attack to this Digimon. Now that's good because especially if you're able to get him quite high in idle players turns then this is actually going to be a really good like blocker kind of way so very good uh, digimon to have opponent's turn once per turn when a digimon becomes unsuspended if this digimon has black war grima or x antibody in his digivolution card you may delete one of your opponent's digimon with the lowest play cost so free deletion as well man that's amazing and then we have one omnimon from bt5 
when they're evolving blitz okay uh keep in mind i i see a lot of people do this mistake blitz does not mean rush by the way so if you hard play let's say the level six and then you did evolve it you can't attack okay blitz and rush are two separate things okay if you want to attack with a Digimon with Blitz, it literally had to had a Digimon that was previous there or was properly Digivolved and not hard played and then turn into Omnimon because then it's going to get that uh, summoning sickness. So you're going to need Rush as well. Okay, when Digivolving, unsuspend this Digimon. Good. All turns when this Digimon would be deleted or returned to the hand or deck by an opponent's effect, you can trash one level 6 Digivolution card from this Digimon to prevent that Digimon from being deleted or returned from hand or deck. Quite good. Then one Omnimon X Antibody from BT10. Now this one is amazing. So Digivolve 3 from Omnimon, so pretty free. Okay, when Digimon with X Antibody in its Digivolution card would Digivolve into this card, reduce the Digivolution cost by 2. So this could actually potentially only cost 1, which is very good. When Digivolving, return all of your opponent's Digimon with the highest level to the bottom of their owner's decks in any order. So if your opponent has multiple of the same levels that are actually the highest one, yeah, that could pretty much uh, ruin your whole opponent's uh, board. So very good. When Digivolving, when attacking, once per turn, by placing one X Antibody or level 6 card from this Digimon Digivolution card at the bottom of its owner's deck, reveal all of your opponent's security cards and trust one of them, place the rest at your opponent's security stack face down, then your opponent shuffles the security stack. So this could actually pretty freely get rid of uh, security so and also you get to look at it imagine that you get to look at your opponent's security you're like oh okay what can i oh okay chaos degrade well let's just get rid of that and continue the attack so yeah so definitely uh a nuisance card to uh, deal with all right so then we have three cool boys which is very good. On play, we have three cards from the top of your deck. Add one Digimon with X Antibody in its trait and one option card that's X Antibody and then place the remaining at the bottom. Plus, it has the additional effect your turn when one of your Digimon digivolves into a Digimon with the same level with X Antibody in its trait. You may suspend this tamer to gain one memory and draw one card. Quite good. Okay, then we have two Yuya. Okay, so this card I actually didn't read yet. Okay, so I read like the Blackboard Greymon. So this is from BT11. So start of your turn, if you have two or less memory, set your memory to three. So it's a memory tamer, which is quite good. Okay. <clears throat> Your turn, one of your Digimon Digivolve into a Digimon with Greymon in its name by suspending this Tamer, that Digimon gets 2000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Quite good, especially with the X Antibody. That means it's going to be like 15 uh, DP. If this, Digivolve, uh, if this Digivolve into a same level Digimon, that Digimon isn't affected by effects of your opponent's option cards until the end of your opponent's turn. Wow, that is really good because especially if you are starting to do like attacks that means wherever is in the security is now useless so yeah so two of this so yeah it would be 15 dp wow very good okay then we have the option cards so it's two red memory boosts reveal the top four cards add one red digimon place the remaining at the bottom then it has the delay of gaining two memories so good card okay um i'm just Trying to see like the majority. How many? So three, five, six, seven, eight. Well, the majority are red, and then yeah. So it kind of makes sense for red because me, I'm like, how come he's not playing black memory boost? But I'm like, if the majority are actually red and there's only two that you're missing that are black, then yeah, it does make sense because the rest are all mixed anyway. So. Then 2x antibody. So if you have a Digimon in play, you may use this card in your hand, ignoring its color requirement. Quite good. Security, gain one memory and add this card to your hand. Good as well. Okay. Actually, that's actually a nuisance that a lot of people forget that it gains some memory, but yeah. Okay, main place this card at the bottom of the Digivolution of one of your Digimon, X Antibody, and its Digivolution cards. Now a lot of people forget that you actually have to play this card. And I actually won many games because I had like memes out and then they choose to play this. And I'm like, okay, tap my me, game memory, my turn again. 
And they totally forgot because you have to play this card. It's not like it just automatically goes underneath the Digivolution. Then it has the Inherent, okay? All turn X Antibodies can't be trashed from this Digimon Digivolution card by card effects, okay? When attacking, you may Digivolve this Digimon into a Digimon in your hand with X Antibody in its tray by paying its Digivolution cost. So very nice. And then finally, we have two Hades Force. Now that's a sick name. Okay, right, so it costs a 7. When you would use this card, if you have a Digimon with X Empty Body and its Digivolution cards in play, reduce the memory cost of this card by 2. So it could cost 5. Very nice. May choose any number of your opponent's Digimon and Tamers whose total play cost adds up to the play cost of one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name in play or less and delete them. Then one of your Digimon with Greymon in its name may attack your opponent what is this oh my god this is scary wow like i don't know if you saw like okay security delete one of your opponent's digimon with the highest play cost okay so that's something different for the inherent but let, let's just take an example over here okay so all right gray mons okay so we have like that that is insane yeah so like what we have 13 Another 13 because it also counts as uh, Greymon. We have like 12 and then we have like 8. Like, oh my. That is insane. Especially like 13. Yo, you could wipe your opponent's board pretty much. So like, damn. Cost and adds up to the, wow. Choose Tamer, Digimon and Tamers. Like, I know Digimon, like, it's not going to be like, that severe if they have one like high level digimon but like oh my god if you're looking towards like popping like tamers you could wipe your opponent's board very easily with this card and plus you get to attack so then one of your digimon with greymon in its name may attack your opponent so this means that like even if you pass okay it almost acts like a blitz so if you're even passing it's your opponent's turn, you're wiping the board, plus you're attacking security, and it's, if it's any of like the other uh cards that we like mentioned before that like you're attacking with, you can actually like start even like trashing or removing some security as well. So this is a terrifying card from BT11. Oh my god, now I can see like how good this deck is, especially going against Shotmon. Like, oh my like. This is something to definitely watch out for. This is definitely a really good matchup versus Shotmon. Like, if they're playing, like, cards like this, I knew, like, the War of Greymons, but I never read this card. But, like, this is insane. This is probably... This could potentially, if everyone actually, like, build it, this could potentially easily be the next, like, Tier 0 deck in uh, today's format because it does have a great advantage over Shotmon and... Like, I, I can see compared, like, even to other decks in the meta, I can see how well it could actually do. So, very impressive deck. I can see how this guy got first place. Damn, this is awesome. And that's it for a deck profile. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.